that is one thing I would definitely say we've incorporated into our budget is right. we, we do, so once you make a budget and you're accustomed mm. to using the budget, let's be very clear, okay, there are steps before that precede what I'm about to say, um, you want to, you, you, it is possible to then pay things off that are on the budget or on a monthly basis and then just pay the credit card off every 30 days so you do not incur any extra interest, right? So then technically you're still abiding by the budget and spending the allotted dollars oh, yeah, yeah. in the budget, yeah. but making sure you don't incur any interest. Now, Corey got that face on, he's about to tell me not to tell people to do that. <laughs> no, no, no. But I'm not, it's not to tell you, uh, I just be disrespectful for no reason. <laughs> uh, well, I just try to keep it real. Everyone, everyone can't be the same thing, right? Everyone's different. So most people, one, don't make enough money but two most of you all aren't even if you were financially literate i say as first thing i recommend is building your team second thing i recommend is getting figuring out your mental makeup and getting some psych tests done whether it's the disc ocean enneagram figure out your mental makeup because that impacts how you handle your finances but a lot a lot of people can't you're going to take a second word just to explain explain the mental what? makeup a little bit more detail you're going to come the mental makeup yeah i mean it I don't know what y'all want. Y'all take the test. I didn't, I didn't make the test. <laughs> you know, so when it comes to your mental makeup, uh, there's something called financial therapy. And financial therapy is what you would think it is, you know, therapy for your finances. When I say financial therapy, I think about instead of figuring out why your trauma is why you handle your finances a certain way, mm -hmm. I say you need financial therapy to figure out why your finances is leading to the trauma that you have. Oh, no, here's me. A, a lot of you are, the pipeline is stress, anxiety, depression, and then suicide. So stress leads to anxiety, anxiety leads to depression, depression leads to suicide. A lot of you aren't anxious and depressed, you're just broke, like you're struggling financially. And it's not funny. And no, I mean, it's just, it's just the case. I mean, for millennials, millennials have the highest suicide rate, by the way, stress, anxiety, depression, suicide. And we have the highest suicide rate out of any other generation, why? not because of the natural stress of social media, that's adjusted for each generation. It's that we have more debt than any other generation. What are the chances? Yeah. What are the chances? We can get into single mothers who take you know, the most antidepressants. 51% chance of being in poverty if you're a single mother. Woo. Yeah. So it, 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 it just leans into that. And so when it, when it comes to, to your mental makeup, I'm talking about you know, more from a, that was more stress, anxiety standpoint, but you can only handle but so much, right? That was financial stress, right? I was talking about you have, fi you have financial stress if you're a single parent, right? And I can only imagine the stress of being able, of not being able to feed your child, right? Or clothe your child, right? Even if you are getting some type of government subsidy, right. just that stress from that. And that stress is gonna to lead to anxiety and depression. Now women don't kill themselves as much as men, so you don't have to worry about that. That's sort of sidetracking. But that, that, that's sort of the issue. So when it comes to your mental makeup and taking some of these psych tests, you need to figure out what you can mentally handle. We can get into investments. A lot of people, which is rightfully so, want the return of high risk investments, but they do you they don't have the mental makeup to deal with the volatility of being in a high risk investment. A lot in a lot of these the newer apps like Robinhood, etc., they're more gamified. And that red line will appear if you lost one cent, but your brain doesn't recognize it as one cent as a loss, you know, it just sees that red line. And back into suicide, I said women don't kill themselves as men. There was a story, I don't know if he was a teenager, but you know, he probably was probably over 18, but the kid who he thought he had hundreds of thousands of dollars, he was using margin on Robin Hood, and he ended up killing himself. And it's like, yeah, because he had, a, I, I bet he, you know, there was a lot of financial stress yes. thinking he was in debt hundreds of thousands of dollars. And so that's what a lot of people are getting into from a mental makeup standpoint. You need to figure out really how you work psychologically so you can figure out you know how that impacts how you spend your money yes because you might you might be someone who is let's say low in neuroticism which is in on the ocean test so that means you're not that sensitive to negative emotion so that probably means that you can deal with a high risk portfolio because when the market goes down right you're not going to be stressed and sell your retirement at the bottom during March 23rd, 2020, I think that's when the pandemic made the market crash the lowest, yeah, right? So. You never, you never, you never, you never sell at the bottom, but you might be high in neuroticism, right? Ops in this case, so you're very sensitive to negative emotion and then you end up selling at the wrong time, right? right? So you can't, you, you need to figure out what you can truly handle and then conduct yourselves accordingly. And then truly 
be okay with that, right? A lot of you want to get into stocks, right? And as far as options, calls, and puts, really, so you can be on, you know, the social media posts. You don't, you know, your FOMO social media posts. But you can't handle the volatility of doing stocks and options, right? Let alone the the competency rate that you need to do calls and puts. You really just can't thrive successfully. But it's okay for you to DCA your way to, you know, one two million dollars in retirement for the rest of your life, and that's okay.